Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So last night I just colored my hair using a new color I never heard of. I actually came across it by another YouTuber and she does her hair black like me. And when she was raving about this color that she uses for years, I never even knew it existed. Um, so the color that I did is IGK color in the color Moon Dance, and it's this beautiful blue black. And um, the YouTuber that I follow is um, Taylor Wynn, and she was saying on her Instagram that she mixes one box of Moon Dance and a box of like the jet black. I don't know what the name is specifically for that, but I fell in love with this color. Obviously, blue black is my go to color. And so I was like, done. Now, since this is coming from Ulta, it's pretty pricey. It's $25 for a kit and I need two boxes. So it's like $50. It's exactly $25 a box. Now the kit includes everything you need. You get your gloves, you get your color, your developer, you get a, um, a post color treatment mask, a stain remover cleaner, and a barrier gel to put on before so you don't like stain your skin or anything, which I did not use. Anyways, um, so the box opens like this and it has all your instructions and everything and what to use on here. And every Thing that you get has like a number on it so you know like which to which step to do first so like the barrier says number one number two is the color and then number three is the developer and so on and so forth so this gives you all the instructions on here and then if you need tips and tricks you need to scan your QR code now it doesn't tell you on this box if it covers grays. So I had to scan this bad boy just to find out if it covers grays. And all it said was, yes, it's permanent hair color, so it'll cover grays. And if your hair color, if your grays are super resistant to leave the color on longer. This color goes on for 35 minutes. That's what it says on the box. So that's what I did. Um, how cute like this is how all the packaging is so freaking cute inside um so this color contains toline and for me it didn't start itching until I was completely done and it itched for five minutes non-stop and it was so like ugh. but then after five minutes it just stopped um yeah, so the gray coverage, they say yes, we'll see. Um, it ha it did cover it, like it covered all of them pretty well, I do say. I haven't seen any little um, white hairs popping through, so, so far so good. Um, it does stain your skin, so if you don't use the barrier, like me, the only reason why I don't is because I can't get it off my skin. And usually when I used to use a barrier, it's like a gel. It kind of is like Vaseline. And usually people recommend using it around like your hairlines and everything, like all the way around your head. But I have the hardest time getting it off my skin. So I refuse not to use it. I opt, I opt it out. And then it comes with a color remover, like an eraser. And it's like a liquid, um, it's like a liquid and I put it on a tissue to like get it off and it didn't, it helped a little bit, but it did come off. It came off with regular soap and water. Like when I saw the color eraser, I was just kind of like, okay, this stuff is going to stain really bad. And it didn't, thank God. It did stain my skin at first. And then I was like, great. And then I used the eraser and that didn't work at all. And then when I actually washed my hair, it came off my skin, so I was like, perfect. And that was just regular soap and water and shampoo, you know. Um, it doesn't have much of a smell to it. To me, I can't, okay, I can't like figure out what it smells like, but it smells like something earthy, 
like either dirt or charcoal or like clay. I can't figure out what it smells like. I know what it smells like, but my brain just can't pinpoint exactly what it is. It's just earthy. So there's not, it's, and it's not like bam in your face. It's just like you can get hints of the smell and you're just kind of like, I know that smell. What is that smell? It's like, it smells like something from outside and I just can't figure out what it is, but I know it. <laughs> I know it. I just don't know what it is. Um, but it doesn't smell like hair color whatsoever. It either, like I said, it either smells like dirt, charcoal, or clay, or all of it mixed together. That's what it smells like. And it's not super strong, so you don't need ventilation at all. And for anybody who has like um, a very high tolerance to like scent, this, this will be your perfect color because there is like hardly any scent to it whatsoever. Um, I think that's all I have. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this. So this is supposed to be, when I was reading the box, it, this is supposed to be um, hair color generated by salons. So you have that salon look at home. And it says, no one wants basic hair color. IGK color shares the signature shade straight from the salon. Professional grade safety professional grade safety and easy to use formulas are boosted with hair nourishing ingredients for vibrant dimensional beautiful color get your fresh new look whenever you want it so I guess I was thinking since it's supposed to be really good high salon quality I thought it would have like better color I guess I don't know my thoughts on this color like yes it's super dark I like it um, my hair felt weird when I was coloring it. Like I've never experienced my hair like this other than using bleach. So when you put bleach on your head, your head starts to get really warm. Well, after I put my, the color in and I had extra, I like to go in and massage my scalp to make sure that like everything is good. And when I was, like, I always do my roots first. And for some reason, it just seemed like it was getting really light up here. And I was just like, what's going on? Like, it should be super dark. Like, I do this area first because that's where, like, my grays are first. So I start off here and then I go all the way around my head and meet right back. Like, I do this whole section first. Then I go behind my ears and then I go behind my neck but like I meet up on the other side. So, and then I'd like do the middle here before I like start with the top and all that. So by the time I got done doing that, I started noticing like this whole section starting to get lighter instead of darker. Like this section here is super dark and like my roots are getting like really light and I'm like, what is going on? And then I could feel my scalp getting really warm and the only time I've ever noticed my scalp doing that is when you use bleach because bleach works when your head's like really warm and I feel like it helps activate it and I don't know if maybe that's what helps with this color but it was very concerning because I was like I've never had a hair color just a basic hair color make my head like really hot where like it seemed like my head was 10 times hotter with the hair color on and I'm like I really hope this doesn't contain bleach <laughs> because I'm gonna kill my head and um I don't know I was very scared because I would put color on and it just seemed like it was getting lighter and I was just like Oh my God. So I was like caking on hair color in this section just because like this whole section right here is super dark and it's blue and black and this side is like white and I'm like just adding more color to it and it's getting hotter and hotter and very concerned, very concerned. And then anyways, after I washed it out, 
like my hair felt so tangly like just trying to run a brush through it I was I like had to work it carefully I mean my hair didn't feel different it didn't feel spongy it didn't feel anything it just got more tangly and I hadn't had that issue in a very long time so I don't know what the deal is with that and I guess Another thing is that with this color, because it's supposed to be like salon professional, like better than anything else, I guess. That's what I took it as. I feel like the color should be more like better. I don't know. I feel like I've had better results with like drugstore and Sally's brands and they're cheaper. Just in my opinion, I feel like it's a lot cheaper. I feel like because this is supposed to be blue black and like it's gorgeous on the box and it's really blue. I feel like it did not achieve that. And I did leave it on for the amount. Like I feel like my hair isn't as shiny as it usually is. And I feel like it's more matte. If that makes sense. Like I feel like it's more like a matte black which is fine. I have no issues with that. But like, I just kind of feel like it looks a little weird because my hair is normally like super shiny. And this just kind of like mattified it. And I did use my regular shampoo and conditioner. Um, It's just not as blue. I feel like it's very like matte. It's not, my hair is not as shiny and smooth. It is shiny, but it's not like as shiny as it normally is. I feel like my hair is like mattified. If that, I don't even know if that can happen with hair, but, um, yeah, but I do see a hint of blue. I don't see it like, wow, like vibrant as it claims on the box, but, um, I don't even have any sun, so I can't even see what it looks like in the sun, but if you follow me on my Instagram page, I will definitely, hopefully like this weekend it gets sunny and I can take pictures of what it looks like in the sun and see if it's like anything crazy or if it's like super amazing. But I feel like I have better results. My hair feels more alive with like cheaper brands, I guess. I don't know. But it's not terrible. I just feel like my hair is like really tangly lately. With Well, not lately. Like as soon as I use this hair color, I've never had tangles in my hair. But I feel like every time I run my fingers through, I get more tangles. And I, I don't know why. I just, I never, I don't do anything different with my hair. So, I don't know. But sorry if I sound like I'm complaining. I just kind of feel like... For the price, it's $25, and they say that it's supposed to be, like, the best salon quality hair color. I kind of feel like it should be, like, wow, like, bam, amazing. And my first thought was, like, it's not that great. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it doesn't have a scent, like, a highly, like, chemical scent. I like that about it. Um, I like that they give you like a barrier cream. I like that they give you amazing gloves. Like these gloves are great. Um, out of, they're the best gloves I've ever had out of a box dye um, kit or whatever. And I don't like that they make you go to their website to find out if it's going to cover your grays. Like it should tell you that on the box for one thing. Um, they give you like, yes, they give you like all the cool like tips and stuff that they need or that you need, but it even says it's supposed to be 15 times shinier. Um, 88% softer and smoother, 40% reduced breakage, break, I don't, I always screw that up, breakage. Um, there's squalene moisturizer, orchard extract softness, bamboo extract strength. It's vegan, gluten-free, leaping bunny certified. 
but they don't tell you anything about like great coverage. They say, yeah, it's permanent. Why not? Like that's not something a salon should say. Like it's permanent. No, you should know if the hair color is going to be gray or like if your resistant grays are going to be covered or not and how much extra time you should like put on that. Like, hello, this is supposed to be like salon quality. Even Sally's tells you that. Even like box dye tells you if it's gray coverage. You're not going to tell your, your, your users like if this color is going to be gray coverage, you should tell you everybody on the box because it's kind of, a, okay, a majority of people cover their grays and a majority of people just want to have fun and color their hair a different color. I think you should at least tell somebody what they need to know on the box instead of being like, here, scan this QR code and we'll tell you everything you need. You just got to look for it first because you're not going to find it as soon as you scan it. So anyways, I'm not a fan. I'm honestly going to say $25 for this box and they make you work for it. I'm just, I'm not a fan. It's supposed my hair is supposed to be shinier. And like I said, I feel like my hair got matter. Like I like my face being matte, not shiny. And I like my hair being like super shiny and clean. And I just feel like I said, it seems like it's mattified. My hair feels tanglier. It's supposed to make it nice and smooth. And like, I didn't get that. I didn't get that feeling at all. Um, I will like to see what it looks like in the sun because it's not as, to me, it's not as blue. I can only pick up little itty bitty bits of blue here and there. And um, I was over by my window, yes, even though like there's no sun, still trying to see it. And I can see, like I said, I can see tiny hints of blue. It's nothing crazy, but um, I don't want to bash this company because like, Yes, this is the first time I've used it. I'll give it that, that it, my hair is super dark. It does have some blue tints to it, but it's like, it's nothing crazy. It's not as blue as the box, but um, I mean, that's kind of as, as expected. I mean, I'm not going to bleach my hair just to achieve that hair color and it probably wouldn't work even if I did, but like I can see little glimpse of blue. I can see it like up here. I can see it a little bit here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but like, like I said, it's not like wow in your face, like the box shows, but um, I don't hate it. I don't wanna say I hate this. I just wanna say like, I've had better luck achieving what I want using just like a drugstore brand or something from Sally's and it being like less, like triple times less than one box. Like I could buy like probably four bottles of color and a big bottle of developer for the same price as one box. And since I bought two boxes and it cost me like 50 bucks plus everything else that I ordered with my Ulta order. Um, I honestly could have bought like a whole bunch of color from Sally's and developer and gloves and everything else I needed for the same price as this one or two boxes. So, I mean, you can try it. It might, just because it didn't work for me, doesn't mean it's not gonna work for somebody else. But we also don't know if it's gonna cover my grays any longer like yes it worked for my grays it covered it up but like I don't know if it's gonna how many washes it's gonna last I mean it wasn't very helpful yes it's permanent it's gonna cover your grays unless you have resistant grays then you're gonna have to try like keeping the color on longer to see if it like how helpful is that so Anyways, we'll give it a try. Like I said, I've never heard of the brand before and I've never tried this. I just saw another influencer use it and she raved about it, like how it's like 
she really loves the brand she loves like all their hair products and their color this is the only hair color she'll use so i'm like okay let's give it a whirl like you have black hair i have black hair i like what your hair looks like let's give it a whirl um and my opinion is definitely not like her opinion but she does mix hers from blue black and jet black and mixes it together so hers isn't like as blue but I want mine as blue black as possible and to me I don't see it I'm hoping that in the sun it's like bam and if it is bam in your face like this box then maybe it's worth it but I just kind of feel like it's not so anyways I'm done ranting about this hair color if you have any other suggestions or any other recommendations that I haven't done yet um, leave them in the comments below. You can always check out my Instagram. It's Nina underscore Gilhausen. Um, and see what this color looks like in the sun because I will be posting pictures of it as soon as the sun comes out. And yeah, just don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check me out on Instagram and yeah, leave me your feedback and colors that you want me to, well, not colors, like blue, black colors, but other like brands and stuff that you want to see me try and I'll definitely do my best to find it and get it and try it and show you guys. All right. See you later. <laughs> Bye guys.